Y'all, my bad. <laughs> Yo, Vincent is us. Three days. You using Gorilla Glue? Harry, we like you. Production must love Ryan. Issa? More power to him. This is why I'm connected to you. They were broken up since May. I'll be at Mercury Room tonight performing with me and my band. Such an internal struggle. Guys, and happy Lunar New Year. This bitch is pregnant now. Tell me again. Grandma can't hear you. Making me waste my breath again. Who cares what he's thinking? I need to shut your little gay asses up. And you know what's wrong. This is too much. I'm really trying my damnedest not to use that clown filter. But ha 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 ha. This child, I have totally forgotten that I am supposed to be speaking during this part. Sure. The lip goes, comes out lip. Sure. My God, I'm out. Do you see that? Only watching this one day later. Yes, and you're welcome. This is all because my mother wants to talk about this early. I'm gonna get back on my grind, maybe. Those of you guys who don't know me, it's your girl from Rizzo with Love, AKA Rizzo. I am here to give you another recap for Married at First Sight, season 12 in Atlanta, episode five. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that boy. I'm really gonna try to be nicer. Really going to try and be a nicer person. What is he telling her? Ooh, two hours earlier. Yo, whoever thought of this cut, bonus. In your pocket. That's some like movie shit, some serious shit. This is reality TV, this is great. Now, Brian, do you sleep? Like you don't even put a, <laughs> your boy wear a scarf? <laughs> How does that shit lay down? It, Brian. You using Gorilla Glue? I feel like Clara and Ryan are a little too, too comfortable, like almost too friendly. They're not flirting enough. And I know they're both attracted to each other, but this is almost, this is almost like friend zone shit. I can, you know what, I'm lying. I guess this is almost like the beginning stages of dating, but they're married. Also, what's up with Clara's hair? Why does Clara have blonde hair, bleach blonde, next layer, and then dark roots? Did they touch up her hair with bleach and blonde? Help me. Somebody help me. Let me do Ryan. So I thought I found a bearded one for Ryan, but this is actually amazing. I would like you to know that I'll be at Mercury Room tonight performing with me and my band, and then we're gonna have a happy hour follow-up special at the Ainsworth a little later. Tons of ale, pretzels hanging from things, and mustard. But let me do Ryan. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. Yeah, pretty routine, hmm. Guys, and happy Lunar New Year to everybody who celebrates. It is the year of the ox, I believe. Guys, don't we all love Eric so much more during this season than we did in the matchmaking? Eric, we really like you now. Lake Show, baby. Did I just do Gang Gang, like, from Savage. He said, it's the lake show, baby. And y'all see Eric got a little tattoo right here too. Y'all, Eric down. Eric, we like you. Who is eating all this food? They got two breakfasts. French toast, omelet, eggs, and something, and some other toast. <laughs> you can't give people a free budget. I feel like they're still definitely having sex. It doesn't matter. Huh? Just speak up. He just did it again. What's wrong? You making me waste my breath again? After you just said this, and you know what's wrong. I'm good. It's not about you. <laughs> it's not about it's you. About so I'm good when I tell you. Oh. This is too much, Paige. I said it before, you better than this. Look at the stark contrast between that and this. He said in the Bronx? Vincent, this, this is why I'm connected to you. <laughs> you a Dominican man from the Bronx. It's it. I knew I felt something. Sorry, Brianna, I just playing. Ha 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 ha. Don't feel nothing. We connected in a way that we connected. Really, really comfy, and I'm just really happy. My bad. I thought he said like, "Yo, I felt her have my back." So we connected in a new way last night. Yo, why am I so obsessed with people's sex life? <laughs> Brianna, how you gonna ask him what he wants and then just say the opposite? <laughs> I love that they're talking about kids already. It's very hard to talk. I said I was gonna be nicer, so I'm gonna have to retire this. God. Such an internal struggle. I'll do this one, cause I feel like I always gotta like, Ray J bunny eyes, the glasses, like what'd you say? Say it again. You know like your grandma gotta like look up to see in her bifocals? I feel like that's how I always have to be for Chris, like huh? What? Tell me again. 
Grandma can't hear you. I'm not trying to make you sick at all. I promise. This child. Are he pulling her off camera? Come on, boom mic. Yeah, I know we're supposed to be focused on this, but uh, is that a camera woman with them guns? Sis, what is your risk? Wait, those feet are a little bit. Maybe that's a can. Oh, maybe that's a camera man <laughs> with the bun and showing the thighs. I, either way, I'm impressed. Okay, I'm back. Is he telling in those two hours that he was gone, he slept with somebody else? <laughs> it's like day three of marriage and they have gone through all this already. You know, more power to Haley because she's really giving this that good old college try. She is not giving up on this man that she knows is fucking, I was gonna say weird, but just different. I don't know if I have had this conversation with you all, but I am obsessed with planet earth so i have totally forgotten that i am supposed to be speaking during this part because i've merely just been watching these dolphins watching them feed them <laughs> watching them pet them and just been in the moment i saw that one dolphin flip and i'm like he doesn't really know what it's like out there so he's probably having the time of his life but is that okay? Like, should he be in an open habitat, AKA the ocean? Because that's what he needs. But if he doesn't know any better, you know? And then these two dolphins, are they friends? Or are they just well-trained? So yeah, that's what you guys have missed in my brain that hasn't come out. You're welcome. I gave it to you now. Oh my God. And now they're literally just sitting in front of a tank. <sighs> this is perfect. Husband, wherever you are, just. Let, just take me to the fucking Bronx Zoo. <laughs> you know what's crazy? They're from Atlanta. The best aquarium is the Georgia Aquarium. Here they are with this little slice when they got the right thing in their own backyard. I can see a little baby Elton John. In her no, no, it's a hard pass. No? <laughs> he said it's hard pass. Oh my God. I'm falling in love with uh, Clary Ryan. Production must love Ryan. Every time he gets on camera, he has like seven questions ready to go. I love him. This makes me, or lets me know that he's interested in actually getting to know Clara. You know who this is reminiscent of? Our good old friend, uh, Karen. Karen wanted to know all the details. And that was just because she was really interested in getting to know Miles for the real him. I like this, Ryan. Very practical. I forgot in my Ryan impersonation, I gotta say, sure. The lip that was comes out like, sure. I wonder if the religious aspect is what's gonna mess them up. That is a big one. I used to think it wasn't, I'm like, oh, I'm cool dating somebody who doesn't really care until I dated like an atheist. And I was like, wait a minute, we're totally different. Not that I have any issues with atheists because Mine is based on faith. We're honestly in the same boat. We're not in the same boat. We're in the same ocean, just on two different boats. <laughs> oh, to each his own. For me and my house, the way I want to raise my kids, more closely aligns with Christian. I don't need my husband to go to church with me, I don't think. But I'm bringing the kids. We going like twice a month. And they're not going to resent me for waking them up on Sunday and daddy's at home watching football. I know that much. <laughs> this man's two parents are ministers. Also, I didn't really want to talk about this when it first hit because I wasn't too sure. But when she said I want to raise my kids like to choose what they want, including their own sexual preferences, Ryan made a hmm face. And I don't know if he's that kind of Christian where like homosexuality is a sin, which, you know, I got an opinion on. And just for the record, my opinion is y'all need to shut your little gay asses up, okay? One out of 10 men, guys, are gay. Three out of 10 men have had a same-sex encounter, relationship, something. That's right, guys, take a look around. <laughs> you know 10 people, you know three who have engaged in homosexual behavior. But somehow, none of your friends are gay. No one in the church is gay. Oh, <laughs> look at that, bringing the statistics down. Which lets me know that they're actually higher because, you know, some people aren't even saying anything. It's probably it's probably four out of five, four out of 10, five out of 10, you know. From practical Ryan, this man is very, here's how I wanna raise my kids, here's how I should go, A, B, C, D. He's gonna hear this conversation and he can be like, 
A, B, ooh, D, A, B, D. This doesn't work. Sorry, man, we've got to go. I'm going to move on to the next person. Thank you. Clara said those are one of the things we have to figure out later on. And I do think it was Pastor Cal who may have made a comment about it. Like, oh, this raising kids this way. Maybe it was Dr. Viviana. And they were basically like, don't think about it right now. I kind of think you have to think about it. I know you're getting to know one another in these stages, but like, I don't want to invest all my time in you if you don't want to do life like me, like at all. I just found out she's pregnant. Right. Oh, shit. Y'all, my bad. Oh my God, shit. I just, I dropped a spoiler. Fuck, I thought that that was like something that people learned about later. Oh shit, I thought they were saying now. Fuck, I just became the person I hate. Damn, my bad, y'all. You know what I'm saying? This is why I tried to open up because y'all writing me like y'all need to, you need to watch this review and this recap. And I'm like, oh, I don't like spoilers. And y'all are like, no, there's no spoilers. Fuck. I gotta stop this. My bad. My fucking bad. This bitch is pregnant now. This is like a real life insecure. What are you gonna do? My God, I'm out. I mean, granted, Donna Michelle was also out early, early. My ex fiance uh, was pregnant. And, um, <laughs> Yo, Vincent is us. To, uh... <laughs> wait, wait. Shit, let me get through this scene. I'll pull back and show y'all Vincent's face because he wants to laugh. First of all, Chris doesn't even want to talk and tell this man. Production is making him do this and he's like, fuck no. Man, I found out some uh, disturbing news. Watch Vincent um, about to I'm smile. Bad. My ex fiance uh, is pregnant. And, um, Look at him, he wants to laugh. He wants to laugh. Told me and, um, <laughs> Wait a minute. He was engaged to her three months ago, right? They cut ties. Past the cow specifically asked that as well. I feel like that was like preemptive, like they knew this. They must have went back and did that or no. So y'all had ex sex or is Shorty three months pregnant? Wait, they were broken up since May? He told Shorty they called off their wedding in February. Hey, sis, who cares what he's thinking? I don't care if he's thinking about, oh, I just met her. I've been with this one. What do you think? Paige, are you considering staying with this man? Y'all, I'm really trying my damnedest not to use that clown filter. I absolutely hate that. He divorced this girl. He says she's not what I want. I'm not what she wants. And now he is saying, I'm thinking about being with her and being a family because now she has my kid. That's what makes people roll over 20 years from now and look at their joint and either cheat on them or say, I ain't even really want to be with you and just live a miserable life because of the kids. What about you? What about you? But don't think about him. You gotta think about what's good for you. Be even right before he found out he was getting married, he wasn't thinking about his future wife. Come on, Bree. He was doing other things. So Issa, I could see Issa struggling. She been dating that man for five years. They have been through this. They separated, they came back, they found love again. That I could see. This three days, <laughs> one of the days was basically filled with the, with the wedding. So two days, this man has left for two hours. Had sex with you, told you that he's not attracted to you. Not mad at you for talking to his parents about having sex after he didn't talk to the world about it. I real little luck with you. I'm still sticking this one on three. Four, girl. Four. This man is telling you. His ex-fiance, who he told you all that, that went away. I'm not holding on to that. Is now a couple of weeks pregnant. Let's say Shorty is a month pregnant. <laughs> I told you last episode when she said that they are committed to this marriage. I told you it was just her. He wasn't committed, sis. And what's up with this February and May timeline? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna go to sleep because this shit is... Mm -mm.